It's like a fucking shot of liquor that hits up. up. <laughs> You're gonna burp it up. It's gonna burp through your nose here. Oh shit. Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones, the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. It's a very special day. We have an Interpol Wu-Tang Clan sort of tag team going on. RZA's here, Paul Banks is here. Together, they make banks and steals, and the album, Anything But Words, is due out August 26th. Guys, welcome to the show. And Paul, from what I understand, you're a fan of Hot Ones, or at least peripherally aware of what's going on here. Yeah. I've seen a couple, I saw the DJ Khaled one. It's like they didn't tell him enough before he got here what was happening by like the third wing. He uh -huh. was like looking off camera like, get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I'm like, my heart is on fire. What you call a victory? This shit ain't no victory to me, my brother. This shit ain't doing nothing but me but causing problems to me. <laughs> and RZA, you seem like you're kind of in the Khaled seat in that I know Paul, I think, talked you into doing this show. He definitely talked me into doing this show, first of all. Respect to your show. I mean, I'm glad you got a show. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I don't eat chicken. You know what I mean? You're the first vegan we've ever had on the show. Okay, I'm the first vegan. Then what we got here? We have vegan nuggets. So these are all animal free. The okay. milk, I know that you guys don't really mess with milk, but the milk is almond milk. Paul, because you're a fan of the show, you have conventional wings. And then what I've done is I've alternated so that nobody can call foul play. Five wings altogether or is it 10 wings? So when we have twice the talent, we go half as many oh, wings. Half as much food? I you, mean, you, you blew it for full grown man. I thought I was getting 10 wings. Yeah, well, why don't time. you see if you can make it through five first? <laughs> I'll, see. I'll see that. And then see afterwards, that. we'll give you a to-go bag. So the first one, Sriracha, that's no big deal. I didn't even know Sriracha qualified as a hot sauce. Paul I'm is talking already. I'm laying that down. So I'm sure this comes up in almost every interview, but uh, how'd you guys end up coming together? I hear that RZA, your manager, asked you who would you like to collaborate with, and the name that popped into your head was Paul. We had, uh, had some tequila together and hit the club, and. We uh, became cool playing chess with each other. This had a cool energy that I felt comfortable with as a person. I mean, Interpol has, you know, rocked the New York indie scene for some time now. And I already had hung with Paul, so I was like, yo, you ain't gotta bring me 50 people because, you know, I like Paul. Let's see if he's interested in rocking with me. No, RZA's people reached out to me because I did an interview promoting my first solo record and I cited RZA as an influence. And I think I said I actually like it jack the beat, which I, I didn't really do, but you know, I was kind of speaking on the fact that this is a big influence on me. And so his manager hit me up and said, you know, do you want to meet? And that's what led us to the tequila bar. And then we started playing chess and then we started jamming. Yeah, well, you know, there's that, like those Wu-Tang, there's the stick. There's the stick. It's like a popsicle stick in the middle of this. Looks good, man. This is actually our hot sauce. Very proud of this one. I think it's the best hot sauce ever made, but I'll kind of leave that up to you. Am guys. I underdressed here, or does that look like if you want to add to it? Hook them up. Hook them up. I want to see something to happen it. here. Uh, here you go, Paul. Let's see fire come out the bottle. It's not that hot a sauce. I love Chipotle. I love oh, we didn't get not, not the restaurant. I mean the chili. The chili. Like, that's I cook, yeah, yeah. I cook yeah. with Chipotle's it a lot, some. actually. That's good sauce. It's like fruity. Thank you. Yeah, mm -hmm. so your mouth kind of lights up a little bit, but it's a sweet tasting sauce. Yeah, that was the move. Yeah, that was yeah. bong bong, yo. That was nothing right there. I mean, not nothing as in it tastes as good. It is. I'm, I'm worried about the y'all said Cali ran off the show. He did. You know what I mean? So Quickly. He, was, he was like hyperventilating. <laughs> so I'm, I'm he being, was. He was like. You know what I mean? I don't want to run off the show, but I'm I'm treading carefully. You are. This is good. Thank you. Thank you. So we're two, but we're really like three or four, right? We're five in. So yeah. we're at the five intensity level. Come on, man. RZA, from the outside looking in, understanding the whole Wu-Tang family tree is a little complicated. Everybody knows the core, the guys in 36 chambers, but then sometimes I'll just be walking through Times Square and <laughs> some guy will slam a mixtape into my chest and claim that he's Wu-Tang affiliated. So can you break this down for me once and for all? What do you need to do to become family? Wow, I think we got enough time. But I'll give you a little bit of it. So I don't hold, I don't know, I don't know who gave you that mixtape. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's one dude who used to walk around Manhattan with a big wooden Wu Tang logo on. I mean, he used to walk, you could see him like way down the block. Like, he was a big dude too, maybe 6'4, coming through, boom, boom, boom. And then, he, you know, he'll get up to you, he had the fangs, everything. He'd be like, what up, Abbott? I'm like, 
<laughs> Do you guys ever talk about that? Because it's a little weird to have all these cells jump up all over the place. Like maybe on some level, you got to be worried about a devaluing of the brand or something. Look, I have a. I mean, we're talking. I'm all. I'm always honest when I talk. Yeah, yeah. So I have a good friend of mine that works in law enforcement, and they told me when you go, when you get arrested, it says blood, Crips, Wu Tang. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's a box you can check. <laughs> I look at it as the fans, as family to be, to be real right. with you. And I think they they reciprocate that back by being like, yo, I'm Wu. Man, I had fans tell me I couldn't do what I wanted to do. I'm like, you can't do that, Abbott. I'm like, what do you mean I can't do? You telling me what I can do? Yeah. They have a whole code book. Yeah, I'm the Wu. This is where the game is gonna change in a way that's dramatic and severe. It's just going, it's exponential at this point. Pain 100%. Are we going to seven or eight right now? So this is seven. Yeah. It's already burning your I'm shit. I'm fucking hot, man. It's an automatic burn. I'm fucking hot. Right? Doesn't it just taste like hot metal? Yeah, it it taste, doesn't taste, it taste like a thing. The taste is gone. You're obsessed with chess. Paul, you're a surfer. These are both disciplines that are mind over matter. What sorts of things are you drawing on now that the hot sauce is starting to hit? How is chess helping you right now? A game of chess is like a sword fight. You must think first before you move. <laughs> think. I'm thinking about that that fourth wing. How about that? Oh damn. Uh, see, my tongue is now starting to like light up a bit. Yeah, talking like I'm like like a nutty professor or dumb and dumber when he licked the bar and his tongue got stuck. It's starting to. Oh man. Yeah. I'm just you gonna like, be sitting here uh, sweating. You like it? Is your surf, five minutes. I'm is your gonna... surf experience helping you out at all? Are you drawing on anything right now? No, no not at all. I mean, <laughs> just a, this is a fist in a, fight. In Every a serenity now kind of way. Yes. Balancing. I'm gonna put myself out in the middle of the ocean, just yeah, waiting on a wave, calm, enjoying myself. When you guys play chess, who wins more often? <sighs> this guy. If we're on a if we're on a clock, like a short clock, I got a chance. But uh, long games. Not so far. Chess, I think, is also kind of like a reflection of your emotions. Like if I get, like I don't argue at home a lot, but if I get into even like little disgruntled things at home um, with the Wiz, I notice that I lose my piece, I lose my queen on the board. And I, and I play hard though. Like I could win without the queen. Something can go on in your life. Yeah, it affects it my It affects game. a single piece on the board. Yeah, I noticed that about me. That's the universe is an outrageous place, huh? It's outrageous. I like that. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> let's, let's get a t shirt with that. <laughs> All right, so this is Mad Dog 357. Okay. <clears throat> Used to be our hottest wing. Now it's our second hottest wing because we're just constantly up in the ante here on hot ones. Fucking A. So wait, count to three and go? I want to yeah. check that you're eating a part of it that has sauce on it, man. You want to check with the thing? Check me? <laughs> he forces me to come on this shit. You want to check me? Okay. All right, ready? I mean, okay. It's so nasty, right? Yeah, it's I like mean, this tofu dog. This this sucks. It's Zach. Now you're eating the shit I'm eating. Yeah. You're eating the rubber. That's the rubber wing. Wow, that's just hot, though, ain't it? Yeah. It's a little hot. Yeah. It might well start talking. That's it. <laughs> you guys are both movie buffs. Mm -hmm. You have directing, acting experience, legit, straight up. I know that you're a movie buff too. Yep. I wonder, who would you want to play you in a movie, and what would the opening scene be? I really don't know who would play me in a movie. There's some guy in Game of Thrones that looks like me. I know I who you're talking that. about. I, don't watch I know that who show, you're talking people about. People come up to me all the time now and say, <laughs> "Yo, look at your eyes, dude. <laughs> Are they bloodshot or what? No, you just you want to get oh, in yeah. there, dude. Dude, I'm fucking. That's what happens, man. The hot ones effect. Gotta keep your tongue in the milk. Ooh, don't you got like a like a ex wait? I can't talk that much. But don't you I got know. like a? Uh, that's the fun. That's the fun. Oh, the talk with the bun. Uh huh. Okay. There. That's death. The next one's death. <sighs> what that mean, bro? Uh, I think exactly what it says. As Paul knows, uh, it's sort of a tradition on the last wing. To dab it. There's plenty on there. Look at that. <laughs> There's a lot on There's there. Loads on Riz, there. are you dabbing or are you gonna well, this, not dab? When you put it on the 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 the, the what kind of the the the, the, the vegan the, nugget. the vegan nugget, whatever you call it, right? It soaks in. 
I knew this would happen, which is why I mixed in the nuggets. I knew that whoever had okay, the nuggets did, did, did the nugget feel like it had more in it? It's not absorbing more sauce than the other ones. No. In Isn't fact, I think right. on the contrary, I think the chicken ones are, are more hot. That's my take. Whoa! Yeah. That's, that's hence why I'm all fucked so up. and you look fine. So all right, so if I put a dab on this, that might put it to rest. That, you saying that that would make you feel like I'm 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 swimming? Yeah. That you're dealing with the same things I'm dealing. You know, you brought yeah. me here <laughs> against my will. I you, think you should dab. I'm gonna dab it. Not. I'm gonna dab a dab a do. What did you say to persuade Riza? I said it was funny and it was a good show. <laughs> and I'm working on my comedy. I'm hungry. If I wasn't working on my comedy, <laughs> you'd say nah. Yeah, I don't think I'm working. Well, now on that it you're either. this I think deep, I'm losing it. <laughs> now that you're this deep, are you happy you came? You know what? We're having a good time here. This is a unique experience for me. We tried to extend for you. You know what I mean? I'm, we appreci wanna... I'm appreciating the love here. The, 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 to bring the... people to the table. Are you yeah. gonna eat the bite with the dab on it? I'm gonna do what he do. All right, I'll. Oh, you wanna dab your dab? I mean, after the I'm, after this, I'm just gonna be swimming. So fuck. You mean when you walk out? Cut the camera. I'll be out of here. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna go change. Hold on, wait. <laughs> hold on, hold on, Pete. Let him do it first, cause I don't. It, it, cause we gotta... Take the bite. Yeah. Oh, like I'm trying to like. Yeah, Tricky I don't know, guys man. or it's something. A, you know, yeah. It is a weird thing. It's a weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm last. I'm doing it, but I'm last. But you're doing it. Because you also get a little nauseous from these these uh these tofu things because they, they get bigger in your stomach. <laughs> bubble a little yeah, bit. They bubble up in there. The shit grows. <sighs> okay. I want to move it around a little bit. Okay. You cool Be careful that? with that finger. Make sure you after this you thoroughly oh, yeah, wash you can go, your like, fucking I, blind. I use this. I use the stick. There you go. And yeah, the stick came in. <clears throat> Yeah, it's gonna be tough to ask a question, but it's gonna be hard for you guys to answer, and that's just the show. Yeah, we are fucking with Mega fucking Death. Liquid Rage. With Liquid Rage pit into it, it says, feel alive. Cheers. Cheers. Salute. Cheers. Cheers. And you ate your dab, right? You didn't I get ate my dab. dab. I, I ate, ate my dab. dab. You killed it. Good job, Paul. I feel my inside heating up. <sighs> In a good way? I don't know. I'm glad I dabbed on that last one. Yeah, right? I can handle that shit, man. Too easy. They're Too all. Too easy, bro. Paul, where's, out a, the where's other 11? Side. <laughs> um. <clears throat> oh, exactly. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's like a fucking shot now of liquor that heats up. up. <laughs> You're going to burp it up. It's going to burp through your nose here. Oh, shit. So, for our business minded viewers, okay. maybe some aspiring artists themselves, you mm -hmm. guys have been in it a long time. You know about greedy executives, you know about backstabbers, you know about snakes in the grass. Yeah. Do you have any advice for those viewers on how to keep an eye on those people to make sure that they don't get the best of them? I mean, get a good lawyer. I think as an artist, maybe you can be a little bit naive. Uh, and I think that you gotta remember the other half of the equation is often like business people and they kind of, they're like thinking numbers and they're not thinking about your craft or how close it is to your heart. Or the integrity of the about art or any of that stuff. Money. You can get fooled assuming that people are more invested in your, in, you know, your art than they are. And in fact, you're, you're just like a number and, and that can be alienating and kind of take a lot of the fun out of the business and I think people get burned by that and just realize that they're kind of fucking with wolves rather than sort of fellow artists. So. I think you gotta keep that in mind, but that that's just the game. There's not, you know, you don't really need to change it, you just need to be ready to understand that like there's the art side of the equation and there's the business side of the equation. Don't waste your time worrying about the business side of things. Um art is something that grows. Hold on, buddy. I'm gonna that out. They're better out than that, you know what I mean? Um art is something that grows over time. I think a lot of artists, because you know, I come from a successful era in the music industry where guys were making millions of dollars, and that has changed. And therefore, some artists may enter the game yearning for that million dollar move, not realizing that the art they're creating is like Picasso. You never know when it's going to become valuable. If the money is what's making you do it, you're going to have a problem doing it. I got to a point in the business where I wouldn't even go in the studio unless it was a check involved. You know what I mean? But before I was making money, you couldn't pull me out of a studio. So I've luckily had a long enough career to return back to that. And I think Jay-Z is a great example of this for, 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 for hip hoppers. He kept moving forward. And now when he looks back, it's like he's, he, he moves so forward that he's up on a mountain. Guys, you made it through. It's worth acknowledging. RZA. Almost completely unaffected in a way that's pretty amazing. I know, man. What are you talking about? Paul, you talked him into it. 
Paul, what you were expecting, tougher than you were expecting, not as bad as you were expecting. A little tougher. Little, a little tougher, tougher than, than you were expecting. expecting. <laughs> Newfound respect for some of the guys who have made it through. It's real, it's real. Nine, and nine especially is real. Don't take that off the off the show. I want to see all the people deal with that. Shit. You can scream from the mountain because you made it all the way through. Guys, the floor is yours. That camera or that camera, 30 seconds. Let the people know what you guys got going on in your lives. Uh, Banks and Steals Anything But Words out August 26th. Check it out. Got, well, we got more time. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, That's it. Somebody bring me a towel. Uh, the, new, <laughs> the new song, which we are, we're pretty proud of, called Giant. Which is out now. Yeah, it's out now. The reason uh, I point that song out, the Giant is a song that's about the underdog. When you see David and Goliath, people think that Goliath was the Giant. No, David was the Giant. And that's what we're bringing through the world. And it's kind of like us today. Wings Zero. Exactly. RZA, Paul, Sean, Five. Bong, bong. Thanks, bro. Thanks for coming in.